ready for action for the uh, Q West Boat Builders and the Scafit Innovative Scaffolding Solutions uh, for the Sports Bears. Probably the Bears class with the uh, slow of the uh, former So uh, I think it's a good thing. And Brad Groomage, mate, what a what a legend this guy came to Wellington last week on a Thursday, picked up the bike, went to the bucket racing track, and did about 40 laps. Never ridden a road bike before, and uh, mate, the skills he's got. And great to see Suzuki New Zealand on board as we see Steve Bridge uh, in the lead there. Hello, a moment there for Dwayne Bishop, number 48, and there for Wanganui through that uh, left hand with the S's. Something went on, and a bit of a moment for him. So uh, it just gave uh, Dwayne Bishop a little bit of a scare. In fact, he's lost his second place, third place is uh, Wong Nui's uh, Jason, not Jason Lamb, uh, Bardell, Bardell, uh, Jason Bardell, I knew it was Jason, Jason Bardell, looked through the program, we've got Jason Lamb on the 70, uh, uh, one in uh, Yamaha as well out there. So uh, Steve Bridge opening it up down that back straight, and here comes the big mighty Aprilia V4 there in third place, but he's getting gobbled up, I think, by uh, somebody in fourth place there as well. So uh, tight action there. In the middle is Jason Bardell from Wong He won a race here at the Suzuki Series last year. I think he won a uh, cemetery circuit race as well, somewhere along the line the Bears as well. So he ran for the This uh, all entertainment going on. We're seeing that one on the track here. Seven laps to go. Brad Bridge again. He's got a bad uh, bad jump along. He's running with D3 at the moment. So Cody be the man to watch. He's, uh, he won two from two here last year round. He also won two from two last week in the form. Always I say that. Just a bit of a dive up there and uh, making a full time. So Cody missed out on position there. And uh, Brad Groomage on hold. He was about eighth base in the first corner. So uh, yeah, he uh, didn't quite get that GSX R1000 off the line. But uh, it is Stephen Bridge at the moment on the awesome Panigale. You want to listen to that thing wind up down the centre straight there, Spider. Oh, definitely. It's, uh, I tell you, Brad Jacob there in fourth place is relatively easy to pick up. He's got red and uh, black leathers, but he's got uh, bright fluorescent uh, lower legs in there. So this makes him a bit of a commentator's dream there in fourth place. But Steve Bridge, he's going down the back straight there. He's getting passed by Jason Bardell on the big dust beast, uh, German for the beast, the 49 S1000. Uh, the 49 is the number, of course, and uh, he comes back. Steve Bridge comes back, tries the high line round the go media sweeper onto the front straight. Somebody that's Brad Groombridge doing what he does best and dirt tracking at the moment. So, uh, he's up there, uh, they defined the crash this morning, guys. The was on the parking machine, but the, the tyres touched the ground. So, but that wasn't a crash, that was a running off and a, a, a scary place of humour to run off the track. So, over you, Brad, you've been watching the lead box. And, uh, still, uh, Jason Bardell, he's uh, managed to keep uh, Bridgie off him, but yeah, there we go. Back to third place with Wayne Bishop from the new and then uh, Brendan Code. So it is a full on Bears uh, scrap up the front with the top four. And then uh, looks to be uh, maybe in uh, Sean Manson there, looks to be in fifth place at the moment. So uh, awesome stuff. And Brad Groomage, uh, interesting to see. I think he's managed to get a pretty good recovery after all that. Managed to be about 10th, 11th place, I think, Spider. Yeah, he's about a uh, third of a lap down. So. Uh... I don't know how this unsettles them, but most of the people seem to get it, put it behind themselves and something going on there on this. But uh, okay, looking at the lap records, we've got a 109.211 as the fastest lap so far by Jason Bardell, 109.081. So we're not too far, we're just over 0.1 of a second away from lap record. I'm gonna see a few lap records go today, I'm sure we're gonna lose a few, or reset a few lap records. So 1092, 109.9, 109.8, just nine thousandths of a second separating Brendan Cove and uh, I think Dwayne Bishop will be on the track in the third and fourth place. So that's absolutely tight racing. We've seen it last week in the Taupo for the first round of the 2018 Superbike Cup. Not Superbike, Suzuki Series. Still starts with an S and a U, but the Suzuki Series. And uh, we're seeing the same sort of things played out here. Dwayne Bishop is in third place. The way he muscles the spike round, sticks his elbows out like nobody else on the track and he pushes the spike round by... Uh, had a moment there in the first lap and he's sitting there in third place at the moment. Jason Bardell is extending his lead on the big four cylinder S1000R BMW with Steve Bridge 294. What a legendary comeback for racing that this man has had. Smashed his legs up very, very badly about three years ago at the cemetery circuit. Uh, in and out of surgery for two years to get it right and he's been out the sharp end of the racetrack as he was before and just great to see him. Great character, turned 10, 50 the other day and runs a company F1 Engineering which is legendary with the intricate uh, uh, frame straightening machines and all that sort of thing but right now he's coming onto the front straight and second spot there, uh, Brad. You notice the, uh, the battle for four, uh, the top four, sort of off a bit, but Malcolm Belsky had a really good start and he's getting chased down by the BMW. Two as he looks to 
dive up the inside into Toyota. No, not quite close enough, but yeah, no, an awesome little Bears four, four way at the front. Uh, and Jason Bardell, uh, he's come out of nowhere spot. He wasn't this quick last weekend. No, no, some people have their tracks that they shine on, some don't. Because people were struggling out for grip last weekend, and uh, it was the same for everybody. But come, some people can work around that, some people can't, and uh, that's the end of the series that runs over three meetings. And of course, once we get to the street circuit, uh, things change completely as well. Some people shine. Uh, I remember Craig Scherf had three New Zealand Superbike Championships wins under his under his career, but he had something like 23 wins at Wanganui, including two of the Robert Holt Memorials on 600 CC bikes. So there's an example that someone steps up their game and uh, just psyched out the opposition as well. I remember he overshot the uh, turn one at uh, the cemetery circuit, still came back and uh, and uh, got ahead of uh, it was uh, Gareth Jones at the time. Gareth Jones, we've got a fourer coming out of uh, the Toyota corner there. Um, just wondering who that is on the uh, Toyota corner there. Yeah, a nice green bike there, nice uh, yellow flag. Yep, wave. that's Mick, number 11. Mick, number 11 from uh, up north. His nickname's Mick, I'm trying to think. Stephen Bates from Tiara Motors. So, uh, important. he fell off on the inside of the corner there. So, uh, I don't know whether he got a high side of it. We didn't see what was happening. Another bike rejoining at the hairpin as well. Mike Mike has been off for a couple of laps, so rejoining the track and uh, right now where we've got the lead bikes and lead bikes we've got three laps to go here for the Q West Boat Builders uh, Formula Sport Bears uh, and uh, the Scafford Innovative Scaffolding Solution Wong and Yui, three super four heads right on the lead class, best time 108.889 for Brad Groombridge that is a new lap record that is a new lap record, a 109.081 well uh, Brad's gone into 108.889 so second meeting on a road bike, uh, the motocrosser and he is uh, now set a lap record, incredible. Who else we got under that record type? 109061. So that's 20 thousandths under the previous lap record, and that's Jason Bardell, a 109393. In fact, we've got the top five bikes here, I think, at 109, so as well as the 108 from Brad Bridge. Yeah, that's awesome stuff. BG has been on a road bike uh, very long at all, and already lap record pace, but uh, watching this uh, battle at the front, and uh, the uh, white yellow flag waving, so there won't be any passing there, but Jason. Bardell still in charge of this one and uh, a handy little gap but uh, Steve Bridges definitely not getting them get away with this one and then uh, Dwayne Bishop there he's uh, all over the back of the Panagon uh, slightly further back in fourth place. Try to look out for the first of the uh, the juniors here I think it's Gary Morgan in uh, 11th spot there Gary Morgan who does lead the points at the moment he's got 50 from two wins last weekend on the number 82 machine. Stephen Bates was in second with the points, but uh, a DNF now because he uh, crashed coming out of the Toyota corner uh, out of action for him. So uh, Robert Mass there in third place, but I don't have that separation on my screen and I don't have the full information. So I think Gary Morgan is leading the uh, Bears junior class, Bears former sport uh, class on the R6 Yamaha. That's how it's a Japanese bike in the Bears class. Looking out for the lead bikes, they will be whereabouts, Brad Ritchie? Coming down the front straight, white flag ready to go. I think they're gonna have one to go as they cross the line. And it is time for the game of uh, 49. Uh, and then look at this battle for second with Steve Ritchie under a lot of pressure now from Dwayne Bishop uh, and then back to Brennan Code in fourth. And of course we're now coming cross lap as the first bike, Jason Bardell's got through that lap up. And it will be uh, the Super 2 bikes, 294 and 48. The uh, Panigale Ducati with Steve Bridge on board. And the number 48 machine, uh, Dwayne Bishop. Dwayne Bishop gets the advantage there and uh, closes up a little bit. You can see this battle going to the hairpin. 294, Steve Bridge is wearing the yellow helmet there. Uh, number 48, uh, Dwayne Bishop's the darker grey sort of person. Just saw muscles that bike. Leans right over on the handlebars to keep that uh, back wheel driving and uh, keep the front wheel down. This battle's going into Higgins now. Steve Bridge leads, but Dwayne Bishop tries up on the inside. Half a bike length in it, maybe, but Steve Bridge gets a drive out of the Higgins corner. In the meantime, Jason Bardell on the 49. Das Beast leads the uh, Formula Sport Bears Q West race here and uh, coming a run for the chequered flag. The white flag has uh, now been pulled in. The chequered flag comes. It definitely is going to be Jason Bardell taking the win and then Chris Bridge there. Steve Bridge, sorry, Chris is his brother on 294 and Dwayne Bishop in fourth place. That's uh, number 35, Brendan Code. Cody there. Uh, it's a bit disappointing for him, but he'll come back stronger this afternoon. And then I think that is uh, Phil, Phil Duffer there. And he's probably been in a lapper there. Yeah, in fact, Glenn Angleton takes fifth place on the 582 machine. Malcolm Belsky after a crash yesterday. 
uh, takes the sixth spot here, Brad Ritchie. Excellent racing there all the way through. Absolutely. Glenn Nettleton, he was down. He was outside the top ten at one stage in that race. He's come through the pack on a beautiful BMW S1000RR. So uh, there we go, Brad Grimmage. He managed to get up in uh, seventh place after his little uh, off at Go Media. So uh, that's an awesome recovery and uh, just shows the class of him on the uh, Kia Trailers. Uh, Fujitsu Suzuki New Zealand entry. Uh, Malcolm Belsky with a crash yesterday. Didn't obviously do too much to that bike. He's got it running again for six. And uh, there we go with... Uh, Listen, we have new lap record, uh, Brad Groombridge. The old lap record was a uh, 109.081. And then we had Brad Groombridge, a 108.889. was a new lap record. But another three thousandths a second quicker was Jason Bardell. So Brad Groombridge, wow, what a legend getting a lap record on just your second road racing meeting. But uh, three thousandths a second 